What are my three favorite knives to throw? In this video, I'll show you. Stick around. I absolutely love knife throwing. It's something I do on a regular and it's been showcased a lot on my channel. But over the last six to eight months, I've been doing a lot of videos based on threes. Three of this, three of that, three reasons. And the audience seems to be really engaged with that. So I have continued to do it. I'm creating this video because I know that those in my audience who like to throw knives will appreciate it. And you must understand that this conclusion has come through trial and error. If you have been following my YouTube channel from the beginning, you know that I have reviewed so many throwing knives and I've tested so many in the area of throwing. And I based this decision on the fact that these are the three that I always go to. I've got more than this, but these are always the ones that I choose. Another thing you've probably noticed if you follow my channel is I don't like traditional throwing knives that much. I, I really don't. And I'm talking about those you can go out on the internet, you'll see set of three throwing knives, they'll come in a set. I've just grown away from those over time. I mostly like to throw knives that are either tactical or bushcraft and have good weight and balance to them. First on the list and my favorite for a long time is my F and Grow EF 131. It's my ultimate go-to for hammer grip, no spin, and rotational. I wanna say it's around 12 ounces, which is perfect for me. I just like how I can get multiple levels of grip on the rotational. I just love the control that I feel I have with this and it's just got the perfect balance. Next on the list would be my tracker knife from Warivo. It's a D2 tracker knife. It's taking quite the beating and I too love the way it throws. I wanna say it's also 10 to 12 ounces. It's got that perfect weight. When I wanna do like a no spin type of throw, I like how I can rest my thumb here and I've just got that good central push. I can crank it back this way and get a lot of distance pushing like this. And again, with rotational throws, it's just got a nice, nice feel to the cut down and release. I like how both of these thus far are over 10 inches. I like that because when they get nine inches and under, for me, it gets harder to control. Throwers have different styles and philosophies. This is just mine. The wonderful thing about these two, they're good, but they're expendable. Uh, both of them, I want to say, are 60 bucks and under. You've noticed I've got the handles hockey taped, but you can use them and you can throw them. For the first two blades, I mostly focus on standard rotational and no spin. But what about half spin throwing? Well, that's where my custom spike from Wyatt Hines Knives comes in. He has a YouTube channel. A fellow friend and YouTuber named Chuck and Steel gifted me with this and I went back and bought two more of these from Wyatt. You have to email him and he custom makes these. His email is under the about section in his channel. I also like to throw it like this. Finding out the best throwing knives for you may take time. All of these are trial and error over time for me. I'm not saying they're the best. They're not even actual throwing knives. This is just where my journey has brought me and these are the ones I like to throw more than anything else out there. I will throw in one honorable mention that is an actual throwing knife and that is the True Flight Thrower from Cold Steel. It's pretty much good for every kind of throwing, whether rotation, transition into a half spin, um, and even doing like a no spin. You could put your finger on the spine or you could do like I do, you could push it here. Uh, but if I had to pick a fourth one, I'd pick this one. So these are my favorites. I'd love to hear from you. Are you a knife thrower? What are your favorites and why? Thanks for watching. Take care.